kingdom of god is nothing that you see externally but is already deposited in the inside of you see it has to flow the kingdom of god has to flow from inside out christ in you the hope of glory is already inside of you the kingdom of god is within you the king is within you so everything that you need for godliness for a godly life everything that you need for a christian life is already in you it needs to flow from within you that's why james says receive the implanted word see guys you are not receiving this word that is coming from my mouth externally you're receiving that is already in you what you're hearing the holy spirit is confirming that is already inside of you you ha- already have it inside of you and he is confirming that you have the kingdom within you see the role of the holy spirit is not to tell you when you're right or wrong it's not a bell that tells you oh ding ding you've made a mistake that's not the role of the holy spirit the role of the holy spirit is to tell you that the kingdom is within you the role of the holy spirit is to remind you that there is christ within you the role of the holy spirit is to tell you that you can with freedom today call out abba father without any guilt without any regret without any sorrow if god has given to us christ by grace that means it is by grace that christ will always be in us there's nothing you and me can do to undo the power of god to undo the work of god in our lives if the kingdom of god is within me if righteousness peace and joy is already deposited in me then why am i not experiencing the kingdom the secret is see guys i'm telling you the secret the kingdom of god is within you is that true why are you not experiencing it because you don't have the joy because you're not experiencing the joy you have the joy right why because the joy is part of the kingdom you have the joy because you're not receiving the kingdom with joy you're not actually drawing the reality of the kingdom outside where is the kingdom inside of you you need to draw it out how can you draw it out only by joy when you receive this word by joy you draw it out in your reality see joy is not temperamental joy is not like you know i got a new car so i am happy excited no joy is not temperamental joy is very deep it is a permanent reality that is already inside of you but you need to experience that and when you experience that when you bring it out you experience the whole reality of the kingdom that's why paul says in colossians chapter 3 he says you know do not fix your mind on these earthly things fix your mind on the reality of heaven that is already inside of you there's joy inside of you this heavenly celebration that is always happening inside of you you know when god sees you he's smiling at you he's celebrating you he's saying hey come on man you are doing a great job i am proud of you i celebrate you every step of faith that you take in spite of all the failures heaven is rejoicing over you every step and they're saying come on man you can do it you can do it you have it in you you can do it heaven is celebrating heaven is rejoicing every step that you take every step that you make forward they don't care about the failures so i want to encourage you even when you fail fail forward even when you fall fall forward so at least you're making a step ahead why because heaven is celebrating Heaven doesn't count that as failure. Heaven counts that as progress. You are progressing in the kingdom of God. You can't fail because of what is there deposited inside of you. The question is, do you align your mind to that reality of the spirit? Do you align your mind to the reality of the spirit? If your mind is aligned to the reality of the spirit, you can live your life in constant bliss and constant joy. because you will be like habakkuk even though the fig tree blossoms or not even though the fruit comes or not even though my sheep they give birth or not yet i will rejoice in the lord i'll rejoice in the lord